new era. Setting the bar high, this is your candidate number one, Monroe Morales Solito from the Mindanao Nature Front, Provincia na Misabis Oriental! Ortiz, Pangasinan. Charles Bradford, representing the land of the brave and the mighty, 
My name is Jeff Valenzuela, representing the Culinary Center of the Philippines, Pampanga!
Wayward Lungkap representing Bataan. This is Prince Policarpio Toledo from the Municipality of Sula, Province of Cavite! Good evening to each and everyone. My name is RJ Megalermina, representing the Emerald City of the South, Buntinlupa City. Charlie <laughs> Rivera from the Philippines, capital of the Philippines, Antipolo City. after the pandemic for me. Um, I mean, my brother died in 2021. We all had COVID and my brother died. So for me to be here and, and be alive is the best moment of my life because I'm going to make Valenzuela proud of me. Thank you. Let's give a big round of applause for that. I'm so sorry to hear about your brother. I'm so sorry about that that happened. I would like to ask you, what, what does this party mean to you? Um, this means a lot to me. Like, actually, this is my second time after eight years because I was uh, Mr. Valenzuela 2016, too. Yes, and after eight years, I tried to be here, and I'm here on this stage right now, loud and proud. 
And it means, it really means a lot to me because I want to prove everybody that I deserve it. I joined this contest not just to be a contestant, but to be the winner. Thank you very much. Give it up for Mr. Venezuela. Thank you very much. Venezuela. Okay, see you next. Quezon City, how did it go? The Harap. I don't see Quezon City. Alright, hello Quezon City. I don't name him. My name is James and Julian. What about him? Yeah, me too. Oh, me too. Thank you. It's very sweet of you to say. Okay. Have you have you joined a pageant before? I did. Yes. Which pageant? This one. This year or before? Uh, last last year. Last year. Ah, last last year. So how does it feel to be joining again? Mr. Gay, World Philippines, do you feel like you can win? Uh, what does it mean to you this year? You know what, uh, it's actually bigger than the title, and I've been saying this over and over again, year after year, that the pageant itself is way more than the title and the popularity for me. I echo the same words as what they said, the previous winners, the luminaries, we are more than our advocacies. We represent the gay community and the LGBTQ+. Inclusivity, diversity, and inclusion is really in my heart. It's my job. I've been doing it for years. So what can I do this year better? Just be myself and perhaps really more positively towards the God. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Kesson. Let's give him a big round of applause. All right. Mr. Bataan, please come to the front of the stage. Everybody's shouting different regards, so I have to, I have to go up close. Hello, Mr. Bataan. How are you? Nervous. nervous. That's okay. You know what? We're all nervous. People are all staring at us. Look at them all with their eyeballs. How does it feel to be here right now on this stage representing Bataan? This is actually my first time to join any competition or pageant, so. I'm really not that um, confident yet to speak in public, but so far, um, thank you. <laughs> I'm actually doing great, and uh, I actually use this um, opportunity or this platform to come out to my family and friends. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Stay with me, stay with me. That's amazing. Let's give that a big round of applause. So, this is your moment to come out to your family. This is your way of saying you are gay and you are part of the community. Is that right? It actually happened last March of the 17th after the screening when they posted my picture when I joined. So that's the time when everybody knew. Well, Mr. Belamba, let's give him a big round of applause. You know, that's so hard. I, I, I don't know how it feels, but I can only imagine how hard it is. Um, what do you expect out of this pageant? Do you expect to win? Do you expect to learn something? What are your expectations for Mr. Gay World Philippines? It's a hard question. I haven't, I haven't actually uh, thought about uh, that or having any expectations, but I think that um, joining this organization is... Um, I could be an instrument to uh, further the cause. For the LGBT community. We Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's give Mr. Pataana a big round of applause. Okay, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give our 22 candidates of Mr. A World Philippines 2024 a big round of applause. I know, I know, I know. I want to. Okay, Mr. Wilbur wants to interview one more. Mr. San Juan. Sing it out, sing it out. Mr. San Juan. Sanwan, I see Mr. Wilbur requested, so I have to. I have to. All right, Mr. Sanwan, how are you? You look, you look extremely handsome right now. Um, tell me, how does it feel? Have you been in this position before? Is this your first time doing a pageant? Well, this is actually my second time. I previously represented Batanga City, but I didn't migrate. <laughs> it's just that uh, I uh, I permanently live in Sanwan, but my family lives in Batanga. But now I am representing San Juan because I am um, connected with my community, especially the LGBT in my city. 
Fantastic. Okay, let's give that a big round of applause. Thank you very much for supporting our community. Is he doing well, Bernardo? I didn't walk out yet. Enough, enough. I want to go in the audience. I want to ask somebody how they feel about this pageant. Go, all right, all right. go Adam! Okay. Who wants to speak on the microphone? I'm going to go. Red here, Adam Hinato. 